for the start of race six. And uh, they're off from the inside. Spetro and Afjan going out for the lead as Bourbon's Hope now moves up to challenge. The field races into the clubhouse turn down at the rail. Spetro has a narrow lead. And on the outside, it is a Bourbon's Hope, a close second. The front two have opened up three lengths on Afjan, who's in third. And then it's another six back to Curbstone, who runs in fourth. Complete agenda. The big favorite is in fifth here. And then comes Uncle Waterflow and Strong Light Trails. The quarter 23 and one, and they're moving up the back stretch. Spetro leads here by a half length with Bourbon's Hope on the outside, second by three. Afjan is in third. It's another length and a half to Curbstone, who's in fourth and a break of four. Back to Complete Agenda. Complete Agenda, still about nine lengths off the lead. Then comes Strong Light, and farther back is Uncle Waterflow. Half mile, 48 and two fifth seconds. Spetro continues to lead. The lead is three quarters of a length with Bourbon's Hope. And now a move on the outside from Curbstone. Curbstone moves into second. A neck behind Spetro. Bourbon's Hope is back running in third. Then Afjan in fourth, followed by Complete Agenda and the gray Strong Light. Curbstone has now taken the lead from Spetro. Afjan is on the move on the outside, and that move is followed by Complete Agenda. It is Curbstone with a three-length lead and a quarter of a mile to the finish. Afjan in second. Complete agenda on the outside is third. As they come down for the eighth pole, it is Curbstone in front. Curbstone's got a four-length lead. Then Afjan, and on the outside, it is Complete Agenda. Curbstone trying to hang in there for another 16th, and he has got it wrapped up, and this will be the first career win for Apprentice. Madison Oliver. Young Maddie Oliver, good for her. First win of her career. She heard from John Imbrial. She's ridden terrific in limited mounts so far. First time getting her picture taken. She gave this horse a fantastic ride, too. I thought, I think a few of us thought that she'd be a little bit more aggressive. Instead, they were going fast up front, Greg. 23 and 1. For, these, for this caliber is fast. She was able to get Curbstone off the pace today, got aggressive when it counted, and gets the job done by daylight over the heavy, heavy favorite. She wound up going off double digits as well. You know what I like? I like the fact that she rode this horse through the wire, under the line. There wasn't any celebration or anything. She'll save the celebration for when she comes back, dismounts, and gets the job done. She's a professional young lady. She, to me, she's looked really good on a horse, and I think she'll be uh, A-OK -okay in the years to come. Congratulations. Hopefully, it's the first of many for her. That has got to feel tremendous. First of, yes, many to come in her young career. We've had the story on her and how she reached out to the Christophe Clement barn. Said, I want to help you out in the mornings, exercise horses, and that led to a change of what she wanted to do in her career. Said, I want to be a jockey. I want to do this for a living. And here's the first win of this very young career, 12 to 1. This was a horse, too. We, we talked about it earlier. We were a little skeptical about because the big the win was on a wet track, but it was at a mile and a quarter, so you knew the mile and an eighth was probably not going to be a problem. Correct. You know, was the mile and eighth going to be enough? And it was on that sloppy track. She was able to control the pace. He was able to control the pace that day. That obviously wasn't happening here. They really went 23-1. and one. They backed it down to a 25-second second quarter. And that's when Maddie started moving this horse up. And she gave this horse a good ride because she kind of sensed that they were going to come back to her. But she didn't necessarily just wait for them to come back to her. She got aggressive with them, and she, she turned them loose. Knowing the, favorites was, the favorite was going to come running, the favorite came with a little bit of a run. I mean, he was a little disappointing, but uh, I don't think it would have mattered today. She was long gone with Curbstone. 3-6-2 finish, 12-1 upset to kick off the late pick four. First win in the career of Maddie Olver. Well, the prices when we come back. We'll get